Hi, David. Well, Americans, right, they appear alive and well after spending a record-breaking $11.3 billion on Cyber Monday, not adjusted for inflation. But shoppers' money is being stretched in any possible way, with many taking on credit to pay for those goods, signs that maybe this cash crunch is here. By now, pay later revenue surged 88% from Black Friday through Cyber Monday compared to just a week ago, an installment method that doesn't cost you extra until you can't keep up with the payments. A firm is a pure play uh, on the buy now, pay later trend, with shares jumping, what, almost uh, 7% right now, just over the last week or so, while PayPal and Block also offering tools that let consumers break up purchases. But credit bureaus like uh, Equifax, Experian have started to include buy now, pay later purchases on consumer credit reports, and that means delinquencies will hurt your credit scores. Other shoppers are turning to credit. Target CEO warning on a recent earnings call that many consumers this year have relied on borrowing, and that's driving household debt to grow at the fastest annual pace since the Great Recession, thanks to hefty increases in credit card usage and mortgage balances. So if Americans are sitting on all this excess savings, why are they tapping credit to pay for these goods? Even the household savings rate has plunged. Check this graph right now. This is as of October. It's at the lowest level since 2005. Look at that drop just over the last two years or so. Even Americans are tipping less. They're tipping 17 percent less because of inflation. So whether you believe the Fed will drive a soft or hard landing in the economy, these examples show there will be a much thinner cash cushion to buffer it. David?